welcome back to our rewilding series. In this episode, we'll be discussing another UK rewilding case study. In this video, we will be discussing the white stork. The white stork is a magnificent bird. They have snow white bodies, long red legs and black wings. They can grow to be more than three feet tall and have a wingspan of seven feet. The preferred habitat of these birds are agricultural fields, pastures, meadows, open wetlands and savannas. They inhabit temperate areas with shallow standing water and feed on a variety of species such as fish, frogs, toads, snakes, lizards, crustaceans, spiders and even small mammals. They will also eat chicks and eggs of ground nesting birds. The white stork is a migratory bird and there have been sightings in the UK, however they have not nested here. Unfortunately, the UK population was hunted to extinction and loss of important habitat also played a role in their demise. But there is good news. After an absence of over 600 years, white storks are now nesting in the UK. In May 2020, a landmark moment occurred when a pair of free-flying white storks hatched three chicks in West Sussex. It had been over 600 years since the previous written record of white storks breeding anywhere in Britain. Two weeks after the first chicks emerged at Nepp Estate, a popular rewilding site, another pair of storks hatched three more in an oak tree. There is an ambitious project to rewild the species in the southeast of England. The project itself is a great example of how stakeholders can work together. Private landlords, NGOs, farmers and the public are all playing their part. The project aims to release 250 birds and is optimistic that by 2030 there will be 50 nesting birds in England. We are super excited about the return of the white stork and hope to see them in the wild someday soon. Have you seen a white stork in the UK? Where did you see them? We'd love to hear so please comment below. Make sure to check out the other episodes in our rewilding series and we'll see you in the next episode where we will be discussing the Great Bustard.